You How did we get to you. this, Derek, uh, with bringing you in? It just doesn't fit with the Broadway Utica <laughs> What a great theme. morning. I've been listening. It just How should we kill people, Derek? <laughs> it just doesn't fit. Well, we killed it at the AIDS walk yesterday. Well, that's <laughs> nice. <Bum. laughs> so, but listen, at the uh, uh, sometimes you have murder in Broadway. I mean, it's all part of it. Uh, it's, it could be part of the it drama. It is what it is. It's all about drama, right? Uh, you have a big week coming up this week in uh, the show is Rent. Um, yes, and Rent this is, here. is a great show. Yeah, we're really excited about uh, Rent coming uh, to the Stanley on Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, this uh, producer of this 20th anniversary tour uh, is the same producer and owner uh, of Motown. So the quality is oh, going to okay. be incredible. Nice. And uh, it's it's a really, really good production. And also, too, it's the 20th anniversary of, of Rent and Jonathan Larson bringing it to Broadway. And we're almost ac- actually almost to the day. Uh, the uh, 29th is the anniversary, uh, the 21 year anniversary that bro- uh, Rent went to Broadway. Wow! Yeah, wow. So, and we'll be on the 26th and 27th, uh, ending the the end of the 20th anniversary tour. So you have two uh, you have two shows that are coming up. Uh, you have this one, and then is it Dirty Dancing? Dirty that's Dancing, a, May 30th that's be another big and one. 31st. Yeah. All right. Well, let's say focus on this one. It's Wednesday and Thursday, uh, 7:30 show. And tickets still available. Tickets and, are still available. And you got a little something that you wanna you wanna do here. Yeah, what we've done is uh, for uh, you know in memory of Jonathan Larson and uh, and you know Rent, we've uh, created the lottery system again, uh, which Jonathan Larson was the uh, the one who started the very first lottery on Broadway, mm-hmm. and then now Hamilton uses it uh, to get tickets to Hamilton, and it was designed to uh, allow people. You know, to put their name in a hat, get their name drawn, uh, and to get, at that time, $10 tickets. Okay. And for people that couldn't afford to go to the shows or uh, whatever the case might be, everyone could come in. they meet at the theater, put their names in the hat. The lines were around the block. Uh, it was a crazy phenomenon that uh, occurred, and yeah. it was it's part of history. So and you're going to do the same thing? We are doing it. Okay. Uh, we, we opened the lottery on Thursday. And I was praying that it would be successful. It was beyond successful. We have uh, right now about 150 people that had visited the office nice. to put their name in the hat. Uh, we have uh, uh, 36 tickets for each night, night one and night two. We'll be drawing uh, night one today at uh, 3 p.m., I believe it's the time. Okay, really cool. Yeah. So and there's still time be... to get in. They can still get in today. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, okay. All day today until nice. 2.30. 2.30, okay. we're closing. The, the lottery will close. Uh, but yeah, put your name in the hat. It's a great thing, it, and the tickets will be twenty five dollars. And it's front row and second row center orchestra. Wow! Uh, of the pit. Okay. Uh, it is the pit. We opened the pit. We took the orchestra to the stage. We're opening the pit, and we're doing the whole front row and the second row. Okay, of the very That's cool. Awesome. All right, Andrew. Nice. And so, talk about you know Jonathan Larson. The, I don't think a lot of people realize the background of of he wrote this he wrote this show about you know at the time something he was going through. I think Jonathan Larson was suffering from AIDS himself. And um, talk a little bit about the history of, of how he never got to see he never his got, dream. Yeah, he never got to see the show. Uh, the show was on its final uh, dress rehearsal before opening on Broadway. Uh, they Just like what we do here, we have our dress rehearsal. It usually ends around 5 o'clock. Uh, the actors then go back to their rooms. They rest. They, they fuel uh, before they come back on stage. The same exact thing happened there. They had the dress rehearsal. It ended. Everybody was leaving to go to dinner. Jonathan Larson. Uh, suffered a brain aneurysm and died on the spot hmm. and didn't get to see opening night on Broadway. Wow. Yeah. And so. uh, then it went on to be the, an incredible phenomenon from that. From that All right. Uh, so this is, uh, as my wife is really looking forward to this show. This is a big one. Um, a lot of people love this show. It's it's a great show. This will be the third largest show to come through Utica uh, in, uh, uh, in ticket sales. Dirty Dancing will probably be the largest show yeah, to ever come yeah. through here. And Christmas Story is number three. And is Dirty Dancing one that wouldn't have made it uh, had the stage not been enlarged? <clears throat> well, what they're doing is, you know, we go through a lot of pre-tech mm-hmm. before. So yeah. the, uh, we start out about 45 days before the show actually hits town. We'll start pre-teching and getting uh, the information from the producers and the stage requirements. So what we do is, um, you know, we then have the, the ability to, uh, you know, Shrink the set or enlarge the set Got within it. reason. Okay, uh, but Dirty Dancing is not a tech show. Uh, it is uh, it's a regular show, and uh, you know we'll have some great stories about uh, about bringing that to Utica after we get through Rent. Uh, but there are some pretty cool stories about Dirty Dancing coming right. here as well. 